All right, so we're checking out the only game that allows you to beat lockdown by being a horrible person. It's episode. I'm serious, as I understand it, in this episode, we are effectively in lockdown, and we have to survive it. Considering this is episode, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that means by cheating on lots of people. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda curious if you can actually die during this, this episode's lockdown. Let's give it a shot. But first, our marathon of Chopped gets interrupted by this shit. Oh, in case you were wondering, that's my character's name. It's Floridaminitis. It's like inflammation of the Florida man. Or maybe a reduction of the Florida man. It looks like I'm wearing my wife's jeans. I also like how my tattoo is trying to slowly melt off of my body. This guy's like, I don't want to be here anymore. I just realized too that like our background picture is basically a picture of Florida. It's all just beaches and palm trees. God, Florida is legitimately infiltrating all of episode. Oh shit. Dad, is that you? <laughs> Okay, I'm really glad that all the different universes of episodes that we've been screwing around in are like congealing into one cohesive timeline. When you elected me as your president, I promised you a lot of things. Unfortunately, <laughs> she you know that YouTube channel? What is it like? Honest Trailers? This is Honest Presidents. I like how he's like typical and by now this tattoo is like, wait, that's the president? You know what? Maybe I'll stay. Due to a highly contagious disease currently spreading throughout the country, I'm now ordering that everyone stay indoors until I say it's safe enough to come out. Florida Manitis is like, I don't know how to do laundry and I have one pair of jeans and they're not mine. Your ass better be lying. I'm putting this country on lockdown for this foreseeable future. Good night. We both know this dude's like, I have my vice president's wife to sleep with. Duty calls. You can't expect me to stay here with this tentacle plant. This plant is actually really scary. This is the type of plant that I could foresee. Like you go to sleep and in the morning when you wake up, this plant is like 12 inches closer to your bed. I'll go mad if I'm stuck in here. I think I know where this is going. I never should have voted for Florida McMahon. He probably tried not to, but since he only has one working eye, his depth perception screwed him up. Okay, we're waking up. If that plant shows up at the foot of our bed, you'll know I was right. Thank God it was just a dream. See, now he knows when you go out to Starbucks and there's nobody in the lobby, like the world is literally coming to an end. Shouldn't everyone be on their way to work or they could all I'll just be jobless like you. I'm not gonna lie, Florida Manitis is like the guy that makes his extra money by donating to sperm banks. The only problem is they have to keep rejecting the sample because the number is so low because his pants are so tight. Oh God. I do appreciate that this person's name is Crazy Lady. She doesn't look like she's crazy. She looks like she's praising the sun. The end is near. See, she didn't see anyone in Starbucks either. She knows. Hide your kids. Hide your wives. I like how wives is plural. I was just about to say that the joke's on her because we don't have either of those. And he beat me to it. Listen, lady, all I have is a tentacle plant and I've been trying to kill that thing for two years. Oh, the police just rolled up. I thought I already told you to stay indoors. Who are you talking to? Are you talking to the lady? Me or my tattoo? Don't arrest me. I really hope that crazy lady is our love interest. I've played a lot of episode, but I don't think I've ever had my character have sex with someone inside of a biohazard outfit. No, she's getting away. Cops, stop her. Didn't you hear the president's announcement last night? What are you doing outside? I thought it was a dream. I'm stretching my legs. What are you doing outside? That's right. Feel the power of my entitlement. Okay, never mind. That doesn't so much look like entitlement. It looks like I'm blowing him a kiss. I'm I'm a police officer. You should be working from home. That would be like the best job in the world. Like to arrest someone, you just Amazon laser ship them a pair of handcuffs. Just send them an email. I'll be like, hey, put these on. Just go home before I arrest you. Okay. I'm telling you, I feel like this tattoo would be the devil on my shoulder. Like always trying to get me into trouble. I say something like this and the tattoo is like, don't be such a bitch. What am I going to do to pass the time? Clean the apartment, play video games, escape. I need a video game that I can play with only one hand so that I can also clean the apartment at the same time as playing the video game. That's why I need the one-handed video game. Okay, let's just escape. F*** this. I'm young, hot, and single. And modest. I need to get laid to survive. That's right. Copulation and episode is like its own vitamin. It's vitamin L. And people will be like, L for love? No, L for laid. It's a basic human right. And they think they can take it away from me just because there's a disease going around that could possibly kill me if I could track it. Level one? What the hell is level one? What is this, like one of the stages? of depression. It's just one of the stages of lockdown. The aim here is to live your single life to the fullest. Do I get a score at the end? Despite the nation being in lockdown, avoid the police, dying, and commitment for the best ending. Wait, avoid 
getting the best ending? <laughs> That's kind of how this reads. I feel like the best ending would in fact involve dying and the police. Where should I go? The beach, the club, the park. I've had enough Florida for one day. We're getting wasted. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Bottom shelf, here we come. I may not have thought this one through. There's no one here to serve drinks. Technically, there's no one here to stop you from serving your own drinks. You've heard of self-help books? This is a self-help bar. What should I do? Give up and go home. Search for someone to serve you drinks. Help yourself. I like how it's like free of charge. Maybe I'll leave myself a big tip. I love how out of everything we could do in a bar, we grab a red solo cup. Oh, hey, Nicole. You haven't seen a crazy redhead in a biohazard suit, have you? I think I should be asking you that question. Would you like a drink? What the hell did we make? He's like, I love wearing tight pants and sipping my ties. Is that so wrong? His tattoo is probably like, yes, I've been telling you that for the last four years. I like how Florida Manitis was like, yeah, this drink's on the house. Want one? And she's like, I own this club. And one of the answers is, so it really is on the house then. You could categorize these answers as like, be apologetic, be understanding, or be an asshole. <laughs> if I pay for what I drink, will you let me stay here. I'm going mad back home. Look, I understand. Do you? What the hell are you even doing here? Although I guess the club could have everything you need to survive. You don't mind living on alcohol and onion rings. Being trapped with your family is draining. Nicole, the only family I have is this tattoo and I wish he was dead all the time. That's why I decided to spend lockdown here alone. Don't you miss having company? I missed social interaction and looking like I wanted to skin people alive. Well, I have you now to keep me entertained. Oh, I know where this is going. Whoa, we just skipped like 17 steps. Welcome to episode several hours later. What this doesn't tell you is that most of that several hours is just me trying to get my jeans back on. I can already tell this tattoo is like, how does he keep doing this? Thanks for that. Well, yeah, apparently getting late is just like breathing. If we don't do it, my inner Florida man dies a little bit. You're not going to leave, are you? Wait, is he coughing because he's contracted the virus or is he doing the I need to get the hell out of here before she becomes too clingy cough? Well, yeah, but you can't leave. There's a disease out there. Well, Nicole, technically because of me, there's a disease in here now too. And we only just made our relationship official. Whoa. I feel like some signal wires got majorly crossed here. Oh no. Oh, you have three seconds to make it run away. <laughs> I just picked the top answer was run away. I just left that lady hanging. Oh, we made it to level two. Congratulations. I love how basically we picked all the worst answers and the game is like, congratulations. You've made it to becoming a level two asshole. You made it past the first round. Some restrictions have been lifted. Like what? I can finally get a haircut. What are we in an attempt to keep the nation fit and healthy? Half an hour of exercise is now allowed. <laughs> half an hour of exercise. I love it. It's just enough time to make you remember that your life sucks. All right, boys. Let's make it to level three. Where should I go? The community swimming pool, the gym, fishing. Well, I haven't snorted protein in a long time, so I guess it's the gym. Obviously, I need to go to the gym to make sure my next girl is fit. You know what I love about Florida Manitis? He's always thinking about other people. <laughs> let's see what we've got. It sounds like he's shopping for an ear of corn at the supermarket. All right, let's see which one's ripe. Oh, found an ear of corn. Ah. Uh, the girl who's always taking selfies at the gym, but never working out. We have a lot in common. Hey girl, listen, as per the president, we've got 30 minutes. Let's get this done. Wow. I just got the hell ignored out of me. Sorry, I'm using this machine right now. What machine? The cell phone? You're not on a machine. Can I take a selfie with you? There's a spider on you. I feel like our survival rate is way too high so far. So spider it is. Get it off me. That's what I've been saying for years, Isla. But the tattoo is still there. Don't worry, I just saved your life. My hero. I'm starting to think I'm getting really good at these games because I'm trying to die and it's not working. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Who is this? What do you think you're doing? I'm getting the spider off of her. Repeatedly. You're going to get me in trouble kissing like that. Listen, I've gotten this far, gym owner. We're making it to level three. Think of all the germs you're exchanging. Gym owner, it's episode. I'm probably going to come out of this with rabies. Listen to him and think about the germs. Ignore him and keep kissing. Ask if he wants to join you. <laughs> I have to know. Do you want to join us? Yes, I would love nothing more. <laughs> oh, God. Damn it, episode. Do you have no morals? Actually, I, I guess I know the answer to that. Oh, it's happening. Who knew you could use gym equipment like that? 
what the hell were we using these dumbbells for? Bye. <laughs> Florida Manitis is the hero Gotham needs. He swoops in, gives everyone gonorrhea, and then he's gone. Uh, we did make it to level three. <laughs> I'm still in underwear. <laughs> Congratulations. You made it past the second round. More restrictions have been lifted. In an attempt to restart the economy, small businesses are allowed to operate as long as they ensure social distancing. I mean, I hate to say it, but I was just at a small business and it was not ensuring social distancing. Where should I go? The mall, the museum, the strip club? I like that episode almost got classy and then it didn't. I really want to support local businesses. Oh uh, yeah, what the hell? Okay, it is a bad day when your stripper is sobbing. <laughs> Ma'am, I'd love to console you, but I'm social distancing, but nobody likes a depressed stripper. Whoa, superhero jump off the stripping platform. Why were you crying? I'm so lonely. You know, I guess she's right. If you're stripping in front of nobody, then you're just dancing and undressing like simultaneously. But I'm here and I'm still in like my underwear. I'm lonely in general. Do you want a tattoo that never shuts up? Then you'll never be lonely. You'll also want to kill yourself in about three weeks. This place used to be filled with sad rich men who were avoiding their wives and tipping well. I feel like this could be the mission statement for the strip club. Now there's no one. You have me. I may not have a lot of money, but I have the overwhelming ability to make terrible choices and somehow continue to live. This isn't about you, whoa! You're getting too close, Carly. If you wanna yell at me, you have to do it from at least six feet away. I just wanna dance, but because of the disease, I spend more time cleaning than grinding. You can grind on me. Can't you grind while you clean? It's true, Carly. You can be the world's first stripper slash janitor. Maybe they'll pay you for both positions. Just grind while you clean. I guess I could, but multitask is so hard. Carly, remember how I said that stripping is basically just undressing and dancing at the same time? That's multitasking. Well, Carly, I'm here now. And if there's one thing I'm good at, it's giving everyone a case of Florida manitis. You can grind on me until you need to start cleaning. Thank you. Suddenly she's so happy about this, this development. Ah, yes. I can feel my life expectancy slowly lengthening. Thank you. No, Carly. Thank you. Anything I can do to help. I feel like this tattoo would be like, anything? You could put your car in neutral and lay down in front of the wheels. Oh, anything? Wait, you're not actually gonna ask me to lay down in front of the car, are you? Oh, nope, it's episode time. <laughs> the following day. Ah, uh, Florida McMahon is back. I am pleased to announce that we've found a cure. Oh, the nationwide lockdown is officially over. Thank you for your cooperation. What the hell? You won? I don't know what to say. I've never been so disappointed to succeed in all my life. I have to at least kill this man a few different ways. We're picking some different answers. Okay, what happens if instead we play video games to pass the time? It's like my character just slowly goes insane and strangles himself to death with his controller cords. Oh, I know. I'll play every video game I own. Seven hours later. I finished every game already and now I'm bored. Congratulations. You can now become a YouTuber. Oh, our guy went crazy and left anyway. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's Florida it up. And that's the very first image that you see when you come to the beach. Score. I love how he's like, and she's wearing a mask. Hi, I'm Florida Manitis. I'm that thing that your teachers in seventh grade health class warned you about. What's a beautiful girl like you doing out here all alone in the middle of a national crisis. I'm a lifeguard. Wait, what are you lifeguarding? I need to be here to stop monsters like you from coming to the beach. Normally I would pick this, but since we're attempting to die, we'll pick this one instead. Okay, you caught me. Oh, she's, she's not actually a lifeguard. That was a lie. I got so sick of being stuck at home, I pretended to be a lifeguard. I mean, technically Wendy put a lot more effort into it than us. I know we just met, but oh no. I actually can't even like reject her. It's either go to your place, go to my place, or the beach will do. Actually, let's go to her place so we can steal her hand sanitizer. Oh, fuck. There's like one cop in this whole town. You two are standing awfully close together. Ah, uh, she tried to rob me. What do you think you're doing? Couldn't you see I was just about to get lucky? Do you even know her name? I mean, technically the game told me. No, go home. Yes, sir. You made it past the first round. Maybe if I meet that cop enough times, I'll go to jail. Let's go fishing. So what you're seeing right here is actually a uh, Florida technique. So if you notice, uh, I'm not holding on to my fishing pole with my right hand. I'm not holding onto my fishing pole with my left hand. Can you guess what's holding my fishing pole up? Whoa, my fishing pole is getting out of getting out of hand here. I better fold the laundry. What the hell is this? 
Who are you? What are you doing in the water? Do you want to get on board? I'm still trying to die. Who are you? I'm Melanie. Oh, that's a very plain answer. Can we address the elephant in the room? Like, how do you swim so well in a corset? I'm not a mermaid if that's what you're thinking. Oh, that was actually what I was thinking. That would make me crazy. I just didn't want to be stuck indoors for lockdown. And what, you got so hungry you decided to attack my bait? I also hate lockdown rules. I sold my house so I wouldn't have to self-isolate. Now that's dedication. Well, that sounds stupid, extreme. We're going with A answers. When all of this is over, where will you go? I'll figure something out. For now, I'm just happy to enjoy the freedom under the sea. Okay, I haven't had sex with anyone and I'm on level three. We're going to the museum. I don't know how they're going to shove a hot girl that wants to have sex in the museum, but it's episode. It's gonna happen somehow. Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe you will, Florida Manitis. Of course. There's no one even here. My tattoo is probably like, this place is great. What was I thinking going to a museum? You were thinking that you wanted to die. I won again. I went to the park and I found a girl who kidnapped a dog. She must also be sexually frustrated thanks to these stupid lockdown rules. No, I'm kind of just death frustrated. Hi, I'm Florida Manitis, and your little dog is staring very intently at me. Is that hand sanitizer in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Oh, how these lines have changed. Look, Lisa, I'm paying attention to your dog. You can leave, but leave the dog here. You know you shouldn't keep your dog in a bag like this. She's like, joke's on you, it wasn't even my dog. You're my dog now. <laughs> Yes, I've got a little friend. It's so adorable. You lose? How? I didn't lose. I won. The bond you have with your canine companion counts as a serious relationship. Oh, I didn't lose because I die. I lost because I'm in a serious relationship. It's like when I had to run away from the girl in the bar. If I would have stayed, I would have lost. Better luck next time. You ruined everything, you little bastard. Hope you're so cute. Well, Somehow by endorsing promiscuity, we have survived the lockdown. This is the most accurate training manual I have ever seen in my life. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Episode. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.